Well, hi, everybody. It's uh, October 13th. It's a Tuesday, and it's just a few hours away uh, from Maury and I heading over to uh, Venice, Italy. We're going for a magic convention held by uh, Domenico Dante uh, in Albano, Terme, I think it's pronounced. It's uh, the setting for um, the Romeo and Juliet story, uh, so it's right around the corner, and I'm really looking forward to doing that. Uh, after that, uh, I'm coming home uh, and uh, uh, doing a special workshop for the Vancouver Magic Circle. If you're a member of the VMC, uh, make a comment down below and uh, tell me you're going to be attending. Um, they haven't really told me what my subject is for the workshop, so I'm pretty open for uh, discussion. Uh, if you have a comment, uh, write it, uh, make some sort of statement about it, what you'd like to see me talk about, and uh, I can probably work on it. Uh, the Vancouver Magic Circle is close to my heart, and I'd like to do something special. Uh, after that, I got a kind of a cool gig. I'm doing a, a television uh, broadcast with uh, Urban Rush, which is a local television show here. Um, I've known Mike and Fiona for years and done a lot of things with them over the time. And so I'm kind of looking forward to uh, hanging out with them and uh, talking. Mm. What else do I have in the books? Oh, I know what I have. I got a very cool idea. Uh, I thought that I would try to attract attention to this blog by doing something a little bit weird. Um, maybe you figured it out. Maybe you have. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of neat, isn't it? Um, other things on the books. I'm heading to Shanghai, China. I'm working at uh, Shanghai World, uh, Shanghai Circus World, I think it's called. Uh, a really cool opportunity came my way. And the producer of the show actually asked me who I'd like to have on the show. And uh, I'm very lucky. I'm going to be uh, uh, spending the week with uh, an amazing uh, Canadian magician, now lives in Germany, uh, by the name of Hayashi, uh, Britain's one and only Mark Oberon. And a fellow from Macau that I had the opportunity to meet when I did the Macau International Magic Festival. And the four of us will be doing a uh, uh, featured uh, sleight of hand show at um, the Shanghai International Festival of Magic. And then uh, I'm off to Beijing after that for another show. And then uh, on to Japan where I'm taping a television special uh, for NHK. Pretty excited about that. Uh, working on some new material and uh, putting things together. And, um, well, I won't tip the beans here, but there's some pretty cool things in the works. Uh, back here on the home front, uh, if you're uh, one of Vancouver Socialite, you'll know that the Winter Ball is uh, absolutely the place to be. And I was very lucky to be invited to be the uh, MC and performer last year. And I'm coming back again, and this time I'm bringing uh, some circus friends uh, from the Underground Circus. Uh, uh, Peter Boulanger and Nina Perron and some of their friends are going to come and uh, present a circus-style show, and I'll be the master of ceremonies. I've signed in the last week three contracts for conventions, so if you're traveling to magic conventions, um, please say hi. Uh, there are three of my favorite conventions in the entire world. Uh, the first is in February, uh, in March, that's the World Magic Seminar in Las Vegas, Siegfried and Roy's World Magic Seminar, and uh, they're the guest of honor uh, this year, so that'll be pretty cool. And then I'm going to do the CAM, Canadian Association of Magicians Convention, which is right after 4F, uh, which is the 40th anniversary of the 4F convention. Vectors, finger flicking frolic. And this year, my magical dad is being honored. It's his uh, uh, 40th annual Fector's Finger Flicking Frolic, and uh, who better to honor than the, the head forker himself, Obi O'Brien. Uh, oh, and I'm doing the International Brotherhood of Magicians Convention uh, in San Diego, so hopefully I'll see you at one of those. Well, I should keep this short, because I still have packing to do. It's only 1 o'clock in the morning. The flight doesn't leave until... Uh, I think I'm leaving the house in 7 hours, which gives me plenty of time to pack, get a little bit of a nap, and uh, get on with the day. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and that uh, you don't think this is normal for me. What's that you say? Oh, sorry. Uh, talk to you later. Hey, bye. Bye. Talk to you later.